USC's spring game is Saturday with a preview of the defense. I'm Lindsay Thayer for the Los Angeles Times, joined by beat reporter Gary Klein. And Gary, while Leonard Williams has been a presence on the field this spring, mm -hmm. he hasn't exactly been where they need him, no longer suiting up a part of the defensive line. That has to be the position group that fans are most concerned about and want to see on Saturday. Well, they're not. They're probably not going to get to see much. I mean, maybe Leonard Williams will show up and, and be on the sideline signing autographs as he gets ready for the draft. But they are really low on defensive linemen. Uh, they've got guys out. They've maybe got four guys really rotating in. So that's another reason why I think we're not going to see that traditional spring game that people have become accustomed, uh, you know, in other parts of the country to see. At linebacker, there's also been some movement. Anthony Saro has been out for the spring. Michael Hutchings is a young guy who's been able to step in. Lamar Dawson has returned, probably one of the biggest surprises on defense. What do you think fans will see on Saturday? Well, I think they'll see a lot of Sua Cravens running around, uh, coming off a, gr a great season last mm -hmm. year. Uh, he's looked very dynamic again during the spring, much more comfortable playing that linebacker position. And then they'll see some younger players that are just kind of, again, getting acclimated to the system. Um, you know, Cameron Smith has had a great spring for a guy that coming in as an early enrollee. And as you mentioned, uh, guys like Lamar Dawson, who've been around forever, but fans may get to see in a new light. I think for me, the standout player in the secondary this spring has been Kevon Seymour. He just seems to have stepped his game up another level. Not many balls have been caught mm -hmm. on his side of the field this spring. And of course, there's Adoree Jackson on the other side of the ball. Right. I think we've you've seen steady improvement in Adoree Jackson, but you, you at least Watching it from where we see it, there's been a big leap for Kevon Seymour. If nothing else, in his aggressiveness and his willingness to make plays on balls. Now, we've both been around long enough to know that what happens in spring practice doesn't always translate. Wait, it doesn't? <laughs> doesn't always translate to the fall. But it, in, in this regard, they look like they're playing a more aggressive brand uh, in the secondary. And so that will be one of the interesting storylines once we get to training camp and into the early part of the season to see if they continue to do that. Okay, here's kind of a concern. You move back to safety. I mentioned in the offensive video that there have been a lot of deep balls completed. Those safeties seem mm -hmm. to be having a little bit of a tough time, maybe always picking it up. Chris Hawkins back there, switch positions. And another young player, John Plattenberg, and of course, Leon McQuay. Right. Th I mean, that's going to be a question mark for them going into training camp. Which of the younger players coming in are going to be able to come in and augment that safety position? Now, Plattenberg's been banged up a little bit here in the latter part of spring. They need to see Leon McQuay play the way he did in the Holiday Bowl. He made a couple real key plays. They're hoping he builds on that. Uh, and we'll just see how it evolves. But they've got, they've got some questions of safety. That's what to watch for on the defense. And if you're not going to make it to the game, be sure to keep it on the Los Angeles Times for complete coverage. With uh, Gary Klein, I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times.